Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much once again for watching. Uh, this very short video is to show you how you can view Microsoft Defender for cloud alerts in Azure Sentinel. Like how you know Azure Sentinel is a CM and source solution for Microsoft and, and there's a very heavy push to basically integrate all security products from Microsoft and outside Microsoft into Azure Sentinel. So you have one area or one pane of glass for you to investigate any incidents. This particular video is to show you how you can integrate or how you can view Azure Alerts or Azure Defender Alerts. It has changed its name now to Microsoft Defender for cloud as of this month. How can you can view these alerts in Azure Sentinel? So giving you a quick rundown of what what this is this is microsoft defender for cloud as you can see any alerts that generate from any of those services for example if you go into your workload protections you can see the services that it protects uh, anything from your vm from your key vault from sql or from your containers any of those alerts it generally gives you an alert here and you would want to basically integrate these alerts into azure sentinel so you don't have to have two different places to to view these alerts so um, if I just go back to portal.azure, okay, while I'm opening that. So with Sentinel, ideally being the single pane of glass you want to concentrate from now on uh, for your alerting. Um, so Sentinel basically depends on Log Analytics Workspace. It sits on top of Log Analytics Workspace. Log Analytics Workspace is pretty much like a, the database of SQL, Azure Sentinel, which collects all the information. Azure Sentinel sits on top of it and using machine learning and artificial intelligence makes sense of the data that comes into Log Analytics Workspace. And if there's an alert or an incident, it throws that incident and alert to us for us to then action. So, as you know, the bread and butter for Azure Sentinel is Log Analytics Workspace. So we first go to Log Analytics Workspace and create a workspace. Um, I'm just going to create this. You know what? Let me create it. In, let me do a new one. Storage. Let's say do a storage demo YouTube. Something nice and funny. Um, and you want to work with so just a storage demo workspace workspace east us is it's, i find it to be a lot cheaper there that's all tags tags are very important because you can group all security related items especially for costing purposes you could group all of them together when you want to do cost and you want to see all your security products how much it costs if you just have tags you can you can separate and find things based on those tags so i'm just going to go and just make a one that i always use is just environment and a value of security okay so next review and create yep pay as you go that's fine and i'm just going to go and create This might take about two minutes. I'll just let it to create. I'll come back once it's done. Okay, so now it's there. So that's my workspace name. That's perfect. So as I said, that's the bread and butter for Sentinel. We now go to Sentinel. It is called Azure Sentinel, but now looks like Microsoft is getting rid of this word Azure, um, and now they they and it's it's called officially Microsoft Sentinel, but they just haven't changed the name just yet. So I'm going to go and click on Create. Yep, and now it's saying, okay, you have this one here. Is that what you want to be using? I'm saying yes, definitely. Click on Add. beautiful trial has been activated thank you very much click on ok okay beautiful okay so now as you can see i've got this new sentinel now activated with this previously created storage sorry, log index workspace. So how do I uh, start getting data or start getting incidents 
incidents from Microsoft Defender for Cloud. It's pretty much done. Everything is done based on data connectors. So as you can see down here, as of today's recording, I think there is more than 120 data connectors. You have connectors from Amazon, Atlassian, uh, Azure Active Directory, so just bread and butter, Azure Activity, DDoS Production, Azure Firewall. The one that we want for this particular purpose is Microsoft uh, Defender for Cloud. There you go. If you see here, uh, and if you look on the right side over here, you see there are five related workbooks, two queries, and five analytic rule templates. One of the templates, this, by the way, this is related to this particular connector. One of this template is to say any alerts you receive from um, any alerts that rise from uh, within the Defender for Cloud, please show that in Sentinel as well or please copy that into Sentinel. And that's what it is, which we will see in a second. I'm going to the open the connector page and it's going to say, what do you want to do? I want to say, yes, I want to basically do that whole subscription. I just want to connect it. And finally, enable. The whole thing is just basically uh, a table. If you see here, it's just this table security alert. So in the background, all waters is any 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 alerts that's coming from this within this table just gets copied over. So this security alert is actually the underlying table that gets copied from um, your Defender for Cloud into Sentinel. So I'm just going to wait for this and uh, and come back to you once it's done. Okay, as you can see, it's now connected. If I just go into this status of connected, and you can see, there you go. So this is now connected. If I open up that connector page here, it shows us it's connected, it's enabled. It's gonna take a bit of time. And if I check the next steps here, this is what it is going to do. It's going to create all these rules. The rule that I'm mainly talking about is this rule here, create incidents based on Azure Defender. If I go to Azure Sentinel here, go into analytics. There you go. That rule was created at the moment I connected the data connector. Okay. Uh, I am now going to do a test alert. AK, I'm going into Defender for Cloud. If you go into Security Alerts, it gives you an option to run sample alerts. I believe this will take roughly about five minutes to enable. Um, although showing us enable, it will take five minutes to just start working, but let's give it a crack. Um, I'm just, as I say, I clicked on Sample Alerts. It's just going to give me some sample alerts. I just want to test the scenario to confirm that everything is everything that's generated here is now going. Anything new that's generated here is going to be shown in um, in Azure Sentinel. That's all. If I click on Create Samples, so you see it's 1:47. It's 3:39 p.m. here. So I'm just going to wait for it to do. Let's go Security Alerts. Still 1:47. Refresh should be coming. It's still running here. I'm just going to wait for it to complete running and I'll come back. Yeah, it looks like it's been now 35 minutes and I don't still see any uh, alerts coming in. So it roughly takes about 24 hours is what I believe. Um, I thought it was only 5 or 10 minutes, but it's definitely more than that. Um, so I am just going to quickly show you a working one. Um, so just to confirm, this is what I've connected and I'm just going to, which is Microsoft Defender for Cloud. This should become green, but this is still waiting to be connected. I think they do normally do a background, something in the background for Microsoft to actually get it connected. So just to show you, it should come back, come fine tomorrow. Um, anyways, to show you, uh, I have the same scenario created in the previously. So just to show you, this is how it is. I have a few data connectors here. I've got a couple actually. Um, I'll just show you what all I've connected. I've connected security events via legacy agents. This no longer actually is required. This is basically uh, on-prem devices, uh, events to copy from on-prem devices. I don't use it anymore. Um, this is the one that I was talking about, which I connected in my new one, which is different for cloud. As you can see, that should be green. And ideally, 
when you go into your incidents in Sentinel, you should be seeing those alerts. As I mentioned, it was about 3.30 or something when I did it. Yeah, there you go, 3.40 is when I saw these alerts here. These are the same alerts that I received over here, suspicious WordPress. And if I go here, suspicious WordPress should be here somewhere. There you go, suspicious WordPress. Cool, so that's the, it's, the, it's that simple as to how to connect your um, Defender for Cloud to Sentinel. At the same time, I, like how I mentioned, you can even connect way more devices. You can connect your Defender for Endpoint, Defender for Identity, Cloud Apps, um, uh, everything you can connect to Sentinel itself and you can just view the incidents from here and take actions from here as opposed to going to each and every of those security portals. Uh, thank you guys. So if you uh, like this, please give a, give a, give a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe and like this video. I will be posting more videos related to Azure Sentinel very soon. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.